Welcome to Metal Gods TV with Mick the Beard. Hi, here with Mick the Beard. I am at Hard Rock Hell and I am with Raven Vandell. You are, how are you doing? All right, mate. Good, good. How are you doing? I'm all right. Is it your first time at Hard Rock? Yeah. First yeah. time this year, yeah. Yeah. Hopefully we'll be back if we don't get kicked out. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, first time, looking forward to it. We've uh, always meant to come here the last couple of years, but this is the, the chance we got, so we're here and looking forward to it, yeah. And have you got any album out that you're promoting at the moment? Um, not as yet. So said we're working on an album. Um, I mean, it's pretty much uh, mixed. We're just getting it mastered, and then hopefully everything goes to plan. We'll be out in March on iTunes and HMV and all them stores, so it's a work in progress, as it is for everyone, I guess. So you'll be touring on the back of that, will you, once you get it out and going? Yeah, um, we're looking at some shows with UFO, hopefully, on their UK tour. But, um, you know, we'll see how it goes, because we, we do want the Blackstone Cherry Tour as well, so we've been submitted for that, but let's see what happens. There's always higher beams. Yeah. And obviously this is classed as the sort of classic metal festival, Hard Rock Hell. Would you, would you guys put yourselves in that sort of group, classic metal? I'd say there was influence there, really, like, there's influence of metal. I'm a, I'm a big metal head personally. Um, I, yeah, I'd definitely say there was influence. Something for everyone, really, I think. Yeah. What's going on? Alternative rock sound, yeah. I guess. The old stoner sound. <laughs> yeah, that's what I've in places, but you can hear influence from different genres within yeah. our stuff. As hopefully you'll find out later when you're down the front. Yeah, yeah, definitely. In the Queen Vic. Yeah, well, the Queen Vic is not bad. I mean, it can get really packed in there. Yeah. Well, we just met the Mitchell brothers and Peggy, and they was all right with us. So, looking forward to a. Uh, Alfie was pretty <laughs> <really> <laughs> Tried to it. sell me a shirt, but I ain't having it. <laughs> now we're looking forward to. We, you know, privileged to be here. So. Very happy. And what's on the horizon after this? I mean, I know you say you're working on a new album, but have you got any more uh, shows this year, or is this the last one? We've got a few shows, actually, uh, in December with Heaven's Basement. I think yeah. one in London, Sheffield and Manchester. Yeah. Right. So, so we're doing a few shows with them. Playing with Bonafide oh, yeah. next yeah, week. Yeah, Bonafide next week. So there's, like, there's four shows, but the choice shows, because we don't want to do too much. We, you know, we've got a lot of work to do off this stage, but... The shows we're doing, they're going to be special shows. I think the Evans Basement show is 19th, 20th, 21st of December. Sheffield, Manchester, London. And that's for um, Teenage Cancer Trust as well. So it's a pound entry, but it's, you know, it's uh, first come, first serve, basically. But it'll be fantastic shows, yeah. And when you're out on the road, what's, what's the thing that you miss most? Um... I don't know, decent food, probably. Yeah. <laughs> it's hard to, because uh, none of us are big parties and, you know, try and look after ourselves and whatnot. So trying to find nice food, it's always fast food and... Garage sandwiches. Yeah, so miss our mum's cooking. That's <laughs> about it, really. And obviously our, our girls and whatnot, you know. Uh, but, yeah, that's it, but we enjoy doing what we do, so it's not like we're having to sacrifice, because what we do makes up for anything we could miss, you know. So it's one of them. And what would you, if, what would people expect from a, a, sh a show from you guys if they came along? And said, how could you describe a show that you put onto it? I'd say powerful, um, heavy, melodic, really like you know, energetic. Jim, any more on that? Um, well, somebody in a recent review said uh, if Muse were less self-indulgent. And 30 seconds to Mars stop poncing about, it would be like a Riven Vandell show. I think so, it's a bit of Manic Street preaching. <laughs> yeah, yeah, if Manic, Manic Street, Street turned it up a, a bit. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, it's, you know, sing along songs, epic sound, you know, big sound. We use our own sound engineer, Adam, with us. And he really knows what he's doing with us, so it's, it's a, it sounds good as well as hopefully looking good. If I had my hair done and a bit of trimming on the beard and that, would be all right. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to grow one like yours, that's what I'm going to... Mind, I'm this time. Normally, I, uh, my beard stops there, so this time I've cheated and put a bit of an extension on. Yeah, yeah. It looks nice, though. Yeah, that's all right, too. <laughs> it tickles your belly when you're having a sleep. Yeah. <laughs> it gets in your food, though, that's the trouble. <laughs> and uh, have you got a final message that you'd like to give the guys watching out there? Yeah, just uh, keep your ear out for us uh, next year. 
Yeah. Looking forward to seeing everybody. Raven Van Dell on the road. Yep. Should be cool. Should be some big things coming up, so keep tuning in. <laughs> and grow your beard. Thanks very much. God bless you. Thank you. May God have mercy on your soul.